All right, Tim Salt from Clutch here. Uh, I don't remember the first time I saw an orange amp, but I definitely remember the first time I heard an orange amp. And that was when I saw Sleep play live when we were recording our first album. That would have been in 1993. When we were on tour, it was probably the year after that, 1994, I found an old orange amp in a music store in Colorado for $600, so I bought that. That was the first orange amp I ever owned. Um, it was an old OR120, and I was just using it for everything. I just turned it up as loud as it could go, and that was all I did for a little while, until I blew it up, which happened many, many times. You know, we have different gear over in Europe than we do in the U.S. But over here I've got uh, a 40th anniversary OR50 up on stage. Love that thing. And uh, at home I found uh, two old orange combos, two 70s orange combos. I believe they're both OR120s, OR120 overdrive combos. And I've been playing those in the US and those are phenomenal as well. It would be great if you guys could clone those old oranges. Uh, for me, I like a clean tone with just like, you know, a little bit extra. You know, I don't really have too much luck going with a really overdrive-y kind of tone. I usually feel like it sounds a bit better, a bit more clutch-like if it's a little bit more clean. So that's what I like about the ORs. They have a big, clean sound that you can add overdrive into. For some reason, the orange cabs always sound like they have a bit more life than any other cabs that I own. So that's definitely my favorite part about orange cabinets. They seem to have more top end and more bottom end than any of the other cabinets I have. I usually don't use a huge amount of effects. I use a phaser and I have a uh, Electroharmonix Micropog octave thing that I always like to use, and I use a wah also. I usually just run, well, I always just run all my effects through the front. I've never actually used any kind of effects loop or anything like that. If you have a good sounding amp, you know, that's 95% of the battle right there. So I think my main thing with oranges is to let the amp itself make the tone and not have the pedals themselves make the tone. With the next album, we've been we've been writing for a good long time. I'm definitely going to be working in as much orange stuff as humanly possible. <laughs> 